Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and this video is a comparison of Todoist versus Trello. I will be comparing these tools side by side, giving you a walkthrough and a demonstration of both of these tools to show you the features, the functionality, and everything that you need to know. The first thing that we need to talk about when comparing Todoist and Trello is going to be the pricing for both of these tools. Now, both of these tools have free plans, so we can see the beginner plan right here on Todoist. And these are all of the things that we can do with this free account. And then at Trello, we have the free account right here. And these are all of the things that we can do. Now, if we do need to upgrade, for example, if we need more than 10 boards on Trello, then we can upgrade right here. And we do get a few other things. But the standard on Trello is $5 per month if you pay for the year or $6 per month if you pay monthly. Todoist is slightly cheaper, like literally a dollar cheaper. So $4 per month if you buy the year and then $5 per month if you buy per month. Then if we go to premium, Trello gets pretty considerably more expensive. So we can see this is $10 per month if we buy for the year or $12.50 if we buy per month. Whereas Todoist is $6 per month if we pay for the year or $8 per month if we pay monthly. However, in this video, we are only going to be focusing on the free account on both of these tools. So let's go into both of these tools right here. We can open Todoist and open Trello. And these are the dashboards that we are immediately going to be taken to. In Trello, we are going to be creating boards. So as an example, I might create a board to track my goals. I might create a board to track my YouTube content. So these are boards in Trello and in Todoist, these are called projects. Now, straight off the bat, I will say that Trello has a better user interface. We have a lot more templates to choose from and these templates are absolutely fantastic. So we can see we can go for like a new hire on board. We can open this up inside of Trello and we can see this is laid out beautifully. We have a background. We have all of these different images right here. It just looks fantastic. Whereas on Todoist, if I open up the templates right here, and let's find one on the board view. So we can see development workflow. It's very simple. Like you can see a massive difference between Trello and Todoist in just the way it looks. Trello is a lot easier on the eye. Also, Trello has a lot more templates to choose from. So in Todoist, a lot of these are list views to start off with. That's just going to look like this. Not the best in my opinion. And if we look for boards, like as I said, they're just not the best. Whereas on Trello, we can pick a beautiful template to start out with. We have like scrum boards, Kanban boards, speaker guide for online events, marketing content catalog. There are just so many different templates that we can choose from. And we have all of these different categories. So this is a major pro for Trello straight off the bat. But let's go in and I'm going to create a brand new board. I don't actually want to use one of these templates. In here, we can then choose a background. So we can choose just between a color or if we want one of these beautiful backgrounds right here. We can open this up and we can go see more and choose from any of these stock images. So as an example, let's just choose this. We can then create a board title. So I'll call this YouTube content. And from here, we can click on create. Just like that, this board is now going to be created. With Todoist, we can go in here and create a project from scratch. So we can click in, add a project right here. And once again, we can call this YouTube content. We can't choose like a background image or anything like that. All we can choose is a color and this color isn't going to be the background. It's just a little icon that shows up over here. Either way, let's change this to red and then change this to the board view. We can click on add. And now we have both Trello and Todoist ready to start adding some lists and tasks. So for my task, I'm going to go create a list and let's call this to do. We can add that right there. And then for YouTube content, we will say video recorded. Then we can say video edited and video uploaded, just like that. Then I'll do the same for Todoist. So we can come along and name this section. So to do video recorded, video edited and video uploaded, just like that. So we now have them both laid out. Now let's go ahead and add some videos into these and some tasks that I need to do. So I'm going to go to to do right here. And this is where we can create these individual tasks. So let's make this one actually. Let's say Trello versus Todoist. So we can go Todoist versus Trello. 
And that's that task added right there. So we can see Todoist versus Trello. And if we click in, this is where we can start making some changes. So the first thing that we might want to do is go down here and edit the dates. We can set some due dates for this. So we can go in and let's say this is due today. We can also set a time. So we'll say 10 a.m. And then we can also add a reminder. So if we want to be reminded before this task, let's say 15 minutes before, and it's going to remind me that I have this to do. So we can click on save. And then in here, what we can also do is change the cover. This is just going to add a splash of color at the top, which makes the board look a lot nicer. So we can go change cover and we can maybe set this to red. We'll set to do to red. So we can add that right there. And that is now added in. Let's do the same thing on Todoist. So let's go to do add task and we will call this Todoist versus Trello. And in here, we can now add a description if we want to add a description about the video. We can then go down and set a due date. So once again, let's set this to today. And then we can set the time for 10 a.m. And with this, so this is something I want to mention about Todoist. If we want to add a reminder, we actually have to pay for this. So we do have to upgrade to one of the paid accounts in order to access reminders. On Trello, we don't. We can add reminders in the free plan right here. So let's click on add task. And now both of these tasks have been added to the board. So we can now go along here and let's say Todoist versus Trello. We actually record the video. We just drag it into this next section, just like that. Then we can go to Trello and do the same thing. So we just drag this along until the video is uploaded. And that is the chart layout right there. So we would go in, we would add multiple projects right here. So I could go to do, and let's just say this is a Zoom tutorial. And let's actually go in and set this to tomorrow. So this is due tomorrow. Perfect. And let's do the same with this. So Zoom tutorial, add card. And then we can go in and once again, set this to tomorrow. Now, there's one important thing that I want to show you here inside of Todoist that we don't get with Trello. So, so far, Trello has looked like by far the better tool, right? However, this is what Todoist has that Trello doesn't. Essentially, we have all of these options along the top. I can create a beautiful project management tool right here. And then what I can do is go to today and I can see all of my tasks that I do today. So I can see Todoist versus Trello is due. I can see the time that it's due and I can go down and I can look at my list and I know exactly what I have to do today. Whereas with Trello, we can't really see this. Like there's no area that shows us all of the tasks that are due today. We just have to come to this table and kind of look ourselves and see what is due, when it's due and everything like that. Another feature of Todoist that we have is it's kind of like a calendar view, but it's not at the same time. So we can go to upcoming right here. And this kind of looks like a calendar, right? It's technically not a calendar. Like if we go up to view right here, we can see we have to pay for the calendar. But this upcoming section in the board view, it kind of acts like a calendar anyway. So I can see the tasks that I have coming up today. I can see the tasks that I have coming up tomorrow. Saturday, I can scroll through and all of the tasks are going to be laid out right here. Once again, this just isn't a feature that Trello has. Like, yes, we have this calendar on the left hand side, but if I click into this, it's going to show up blank and tell me that I need to upgrade to actually see what is on my calendar. Another thing that we can do inside of Todoist that we don't get with Trello is actually the list view. So it wouldn't really work for YouTube content, but I can show you how we change this. We can just go over to list right here and it kind of does work still. Like we have to do video recorded, video edited. We can drag these down, but like you can't deny that this looks better in the board view. But where this is super handy is if we just want to create a simple to-do list. So if I was to go to my projects and we can go in here, add project and we go to do, we can set this color to maybe like a green color right here. And then we can have this as a list. And then we can go in and there's, there's so many different things that we can do with this to-do list. So for example, I could go in and create just a task list right here. So I could say uh, like walk, walk dog, take dog, Take dog to training, salsa class. And then I can split this up into different areas. So what we can do is create sections. And I can say that this is like today. And then I can create a new section and say this is like tomorrow. And then a new section and say this is next week. And then we can go in and add these tasks to these different areas. Remember, we can go in here 
And if I go to edit, I can set a due date, I can set a priority. And in here, I can now get a beautiful layout on this to-do list. Whereas on Trello, we, we can't, like we're stuck with this board view. If I go up to board right here and I go down and try to access any of these other areas, like even if I get this paid plan, I still can't access like a regular to-do list like I can on Todoist. I can get table, calendar, timeline, all of these features right here, but on this free plan, I'm just stuck on this board view. So overall, it really depends what you are looking for when you are using these tools. Todoist can be used as a project manager. However, the templates are not as good and it's definitely not as easy on the eye as Trello. Trello definitely has a better user interface and it's a lot nicer to use. However, Todoist does have some features that Trello doesn't. For example, we have this today feature where we can see instantly all of the tasks that are due today. We also get this kind of like calendar on the free plan, which we don't get with the free plan on Trello. And we get this list view so we can create simple and easy to follow task lists which once again, we can't get on Trello. So overall, I would say if you're looking for a project management tool and you don't mind paying for Trello, then Trello is going to be the best. We have these awesome templates. It looks better. It's a better project manager. However, if you want to stick with the free version of one of these tools and you get this calendar view, you can do these to-do lists then Todoist is going to be the best option for you. So that is my comparison of Todoist versus Trello. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.